pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stand for a moment of silence for the handicapped, the sick, the departed, and the military personnel of our community. Society. I want to thank Lori and Joe for all they're going to help us with a really weak section of brainings over there. Thank you. What I want to ask you tonight is to think about coming, plan to come tomorrow night at 7 o'clock to the railroad station. The topic is going to be Greenwood Place. Now, many of you may never have heard of Greenwood Place, but if you drive straight up Station Street, don't make the turn onto Dewey, go straight ahead. There are the original pillars with the whatever on top of them that held the gate to that piece of property 100 years ago. Uh, so next time, slow down, take a look, it's history. But that little section of town is really little section of town, a little cluster of homes. I used to spend a lot of time there when Mr. Murray, one of them, brought Mr. O'Donnell to Bridgeville to help with legal things, and his daughter, Pat O'Donnell, and I played a lot. Uh, about a year ago, Dan Clusey came in and talked about the street where he bought his grandfather's house, repaired his grandfather's house. From that house, you can look down from the back, straight down onto Baldwin Street. Now, in that era, a hundred years ago, that was a main commercial retail district, store after store after store. Um, that kind of history, uh, Railroad Street also was part of that area. Uh, the Bridgeville Hotel, the Ritz Hotel, uh, where the uh, my printing is today, when you got off that train, you're an immigrant coming to work at the coal mine or the steel mill, and you got off the train at midnight, there was one of those places that would have a room for you. So it was a very commercial area of town. But it also is very isolated. It's one little short walk to the beach and bus line. It's one short walk down into the business district, and they have all the privacy you can imagine. So tomorrow night at 7, come to the, the, uh, the uh, railroad station. We'll try to get everyone a chair. But we, last month we had a standing room only. So I hope to see you all tomorrow night because it's really interesting history. A very interesting part of the community. And by the by, we do have at the History Center a map of Baldwin Street, dated 1940, it's commercial, business, after, and continual down to McLaughlin Run Road. It's a fascinating map. You can spend hours and say, you've got somebody's name spelled wrong. Too bad, your name's on there. And one other thing, this has to do with traffic. I think I represent a lot of people in Bridgeville, or there are many of us anyway, who are quite upset with all the plans at South Fayette Township in the St. Anthony Theater of all that area. And I know it sounds crazy, but it is. I admit it. But I really suggest, seriously, that Panwalk think about doing overhead roads. You cannot continue to take green grass and property over and over and over again for a very few people. Uh, I'm scared to death at the going into where the bank is. I'm scared to death someone's going to get hit right at that entrance of Route 5519. Uh, if someone's walking in there and you're looking up there at oncoming traffic, you'll never see that person walking. And they do walk. For your information, I go to work three days a week around quarter after 8 to 8.30. I 
are usually one of two, maybe three cars getting on I-79. The rest are all headed west. And you better be out of the way when they come out of the coffee shop because they come like a bull right after. So that's the end of my complaints. But I do have one other strange thought of plant again with you people. Eminent domain should be the developer paying borough taxes, school taxes, and county taxes for 25 years rather than just leave property sitting empty for five or ten years. Um, and we might get a little bit more innovative workers, more innovative in PennDOT, um, to find out a lot of different ways of doing things. And, but I do have to see you tomorrow. Thanks. Could you elaborate just a little bit more what you're speaking of with 25, 50 years in the domain? I'm not quite sure I understand where you're I think if you plan or hope as a developer, we'll take that property in South Bay Township mm -hmm. uh, out Mayview Road. If they had to pay school tax, borough tax, township tax, and county tax, they might think long and hard about what kind of a development that's a that's a lot of revenue lost. Now in that case, they're making revenue out of it. If it happened here in Bridgeville, we would lose thousands, and so would the schools. And so you're talking about the South they have moved to eminent domain fair Park. I'm talking about in I, I or anywhere. I, I they should look. It. I follow that they should look at the tax revenue that they're foregoing. For 25 years, when they Absolutely. think about it, when, when we or anyone thinks about them, they make the same. Absolutely. Thank you. Anybody else? Hope to see you tomorrow night. Thanks, Mary. Well, thank we you. can do it. Mike Tolbert Dobson, Bruce Galaducci. Here. Bill Henderson. Here. Neil Lyons. Here. Joe Colosimo. Here. Joe Perducci. I hear it. Kurt Cherry. Here. Pat Blasio. Here. Tom McDermott. Here. Joe Sites. Here. Lori Collins. Here. Chad King. Here. Bill Chilio. Here. Daniel. Here. Okay. Um, we need a motion to, uh, by Borough Council, to accept the minutes from September 12th, uh, 2016, further meeting. So moved. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Okay. The first item on the agenda is the planning commission of an advertisement was placed on September 1st, 2016, requesting letters of interest from candidates wishing to fill the two new vacancies on the planning commission with terms to the first Monday in January 2020. The following letters of interest were received with interviews conducted with candidates on September 26, 2016. George S. Giotis, Judy Bush, Jeff Galadrici, Del Livingston, Tim Nath, Eric Schmidt and Mary Wise. So we're requesting a motion regarding the first vacancy to the first Monday in January 2020. Mr. President, before we entertain a motion, I think it just needs to be said. In my years on council and planning commission, I was just, I think we all were kind of blown away with the group of people we had. Uh, I mean, we had people that were professional planners, CPAs, business owners, rocket scientists. Uh, was, Impressive what we got. This, this is a tough decision. So. Mr. Vice President, I'd like to make a motion uh, to appoint Tim Nath for a vacant seat on the Planning Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, and then the second yeah. appointee. Yes. We need a motion to, uh, to the second appointee. I'll make a motion uh, for Dale Livingston. Second. 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 Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Okay. Uh, we need a motion. Next item is the seven hundred appointment. The advertisement is placed in the second circle of the first council, the present letters and then for some candidates. We need to fill the seven hearing board appointment with the first time for the first Monday in January 2019. 
but it's ventures from the same for Jess Gerdes, Judy Bush, Jeff Gallagher, Jim Dale Livingston, Tim Knapp, Eric Schmidt, and Mary Wise will receive with requesting a motion um, to the vacancy of the seven years. We have a motion to. Make a motion for George Espiotis. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Okay, the next item we have is resolution number 2016 09. This is a resolution confirming that the borough of Bridgeville is formally requesting a grant from the Allegheny County Department of Economic Development in the amount of $24,000 on behalf of the Bridgeville to be utilized for sidewalk and rail replacement. We have a motion. So moved. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Motion. The next item is public works on of employment. Uh, this will be a motion of the council regarding the offer of employment per the recommendation of the Public Works Committee. William Chilio to a full-time public works position for the start date of November 1st, 2016. As we remarked, that William Phillips will be utilizing his vacation and sick days beginning November 17, 2016, so that's his last day. But his retirement date is April 4th, 2017, and the Public Works Committee will conduct um, interviews with some other very qualified individuals. And this is the head of public works. I want to reiterate that that we met and um, there was a lot of there were some other good guys there were some that uh, were making more than we were offering so um, but Bill uh, we did our due diligence and Bill was uh, the top candidate so we could have a motion for <coughs> so moved second I'll second, second. Okay. all in favor aye yes the ayes have uh, we need a motion from our council to pay the bill list for October 16th, oh, October 2016. Alderman Joe. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Against? Uh, payroll. We need a motion by the borough council to approve the payroll for October 14th, 21st, 28th, November 4th, and 11th of 2016. We have a motion. So moved. Yeah. Second. No second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Yes, Monthly reports. The motion to accept and pay any commissions due <coughs> for due September 2016 real estate tax collector's report. I'll move. Second. Oh. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Uh, motion to accept the August 2016 financial report. I'll move. Joe? Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yes. A uh, motion to accept uh, September 6, 2016 police report. So moved. Second. Joe? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, yes. Motion to accept the September 2016 zoning report. So moved. Second. Aye. Aye. Against? Okay. Committee reports. Uh, administration, I don't have anything. Um, finance, Joe? Uh, the only thing I have to report is uh, we'll be having a finance uh, meeting, finance committee uh, in the very near future, probably sometime early November. That's all I have. Parks and Recreation, Joe Blossom. Ah, that's a couple of quick things. Uh, repairs of the gazebo that at Triangle Park are almost complete. We had to order a, uh, I guess it's a custom built piece that fits on top of the thing, so we're waiting for that. Uh, Public Works is doing some uh, excavation work up at the Cook School Park for the installation of the uh, green dugouts at the VA that we're going to be putting in. Uh, uh, from that last call, very last call from the newsletter, she's getting done this week. So, anybody has anything, then we do this ASAP. And this is an aside. I was coming on from work late today. I was coming on down Ridge and Alley there, and I saw the chief there. 
need a big old triaxle pulled out. And that guy was very unhappy. So, I feel bad for the guy, but I guess he shouldn't have been there, right? It's true. Um, the issue we run into, though, is he actually had his GPS on, and that's the direction it was telling him to go. It kept repeating itself over and over. So, unfortunately, GPS doesn't recognize where we have the laws and ordinances, but I'm confident he won't be going that way anymore. That's all I have. Hey, Joe, just to point out, uh, the BAA um, wanted to make sure that uh, the pirates were recognized because half of the London grid was uh, to build those dugouts. It was generated from a, a grant that they got some pirates. Right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Um, public Works, that's me. Um, as Joe said, uh, the gazebo got a new roof in that. Public Works did that. They've been working on finishing up the, the summer with the parks, um, getting everything ready for winter. Um, I also have announced that the leaf machine will um, begins, begins the week of October 17th. It follows the street sweepers schedule, and the brush grinder will start the 1st of November and go through the whole month of November, and that follows the street sweepers uh, schedule. That's all I have for that. So, um, public safety. <coughs> yeah, that, nothing for public safety, but I think it's important that on behalf of the, uh, the borough and on behalf of the police department, we express our sincere condolences to the family of our former chief of police, Russ McLeod, on the passing of his oldest son, Eddie. So, our condolences go out to the Family and the police department. Um, there, not much. Uh, Halloween, the Halloween parade will be on, on October 29th. Registration begins at 10 a.m. at Goodwill Manor, and the parade kicks off at 11, ending at the fire department. Halloween trick or treating will be October 31st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's all. Uh, Please, Chief. Jeff. Thank you, Councilman Gallarducci. Um, just to touch on what Councilman Henderson mentioned about our former Chief McLeod. He was a chief here from um, 1990 until 2003. His oldest son was killed in a car accident in Hungary last weekend. Um, there will be a viewing tomorrow at Warchill's funeral home from 2 to 4 and from 6 until 9. So I was just making the public aware of that if anybody wished to attend that. That's all I have. Um, I did provide counsel with a written report detailing um, certain issues that we've dealt with through the month. Any questions, I can answer those. Thank you. Thank you. Solicitor. Thank you. You have my written report. I have nothing to add. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my report uh, covered part of the uh, CD43 grant. You give us the resolution. We'll proceed with the full application to get that sent into the Charles Club. Uh, the next item I have is the Bowerville Road repairs. Uh, people's gas has been working. Uh, expecting to be done with the gas maybe very shortly. Uh, that is delayed our award. But they have delays in their own work because they encountered kind of wrong with the installation. So uh, their line is going to be lower than the work that we're proposing to do. So uh, hopefully we can uh, get with them and get the uh, restoration work moving here before winter time. Uh, the Walk Run Park Phase 2, uh, Lori and I were talking last week. We haven't heard anything from the DCNR. And uh, my uh, assistant who was helping me with that grant was on vacation last week. So, and uh, the state was closed today. So uh, as soon as we can get a full state, we'll get an update on that. Uh, Lori and I met with the uh, developer of the Washington James uh, uh, development there, uh, his representative and his architect last month. Uh, reviewed the zoning ordinance requirements with them so they can prepare the submission accordingly. We asked that they want to get their submission prepared that we uh, meet with them again before they make the formal submission. And I believe they're working to present the uh, planning commission's work through the design standards. So that's one thing that they need to have the feedback on. Uh, before they can finalize their submission. Now they were ready to take them. I was just about to ask the same thing. We can ask them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's grass growing there. Three, six, three, four months already. Yeah. 
And then uh, Lori and I met with the uh, representatives of the Allegheny County Department of Economic Development for the Chartreuse uh, Street Grant through the Gandhi Funds in about 300000 uh, They've not provided a formal contract, and because no work can be done on the design until we get that contract and it's executed. So uh, we're still waiting for the town to get that to us. That's all I have to ask you questions. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have questions for Joe? No. Joe, can we talk briefly about the stairs? Going down from Greenwood. Yes, I did. Talk, I did meet with Mr. Pasquini today at five o'clock today, and he's going to uh, put his thinking cap on for me, give me his ballpark price, so we have something for budgeting. Budgeting for next year. I believe I had put a budget together once before and included some storm sewer work that needed to be done because there's a lot of runoff. There's a, there's a drainage ditch there on Greenwood behind the guardrail, mm -hmm. so I want to find that so we can put the storm sewer and mix price together and, and get a budget on it. Good. Thank you. Well, Thank you. I mean, for your information, those who did not know, the Historic Society had gotten bids on the railing problem. And the cheapest was 18000 the most expensive we got was 20000 So what Joe and Lori have done is bring us in right probably at the correct place. And I want to thank them again. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, our Chief Bill Thanks, Mr. President. Um, you have my report for what we did last month. And the only other thing I have is from the fire department, I'd like to thank everybody for supporting us going our gun back. It was a nice turnout for the first one. We'll keep it going. That's all I got. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for the appointment. Um, Southbridge EMS and no, nothing to report. Thanks. Sure to see anybody from the library. Manager Lori Thomas. I provide my report. Any questions? Okay. Um, full business? Mm -hmm. um, the traffic study for Cook Ridge? <coughs> something came in on it that I haven't heard anything. We, we prepared a uh, draft scope patch and we circulated to the members of council for feedback before it's formalized. Um, so anytime you get comments, we can put together the RFP with Lori and you guys can advertise it. I also had the image. You can make your advertiser and just send it to the folks you know. There's only a couple of them in the I also spoke with your caller today. You want to stop in the part of just a part of this narrative and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Great. If you, if you wish, you could authorize us to find, finalize it with, with his calling and have an issue to put the members or if you want to come back to the hundred and things like that. That's what could happen. Yes, but I thought you guys had a chance to look at the, the scope. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I shall just look at the scope of it and then we can come back. New business. Still on the old business. Okay. I'd rather you ask to thank you two gentlemen for your. It felt like a chilling book off your wife. I apologize if he had any ill effects after tasting all that chili. What a thing. You went hungry. It was a big success. I'm still hungry. Oh, <laughs> but no, thank, thank you. you. Both gentlemen. Thank you. It's, uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. New business. New business. And for new business. Then I entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Chili <laughs> 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 <laughs>